Hello, my name is Brian Hudson of Performance Telecom and this is a short tutorial for users of the Witch Magazine Drive Satisfaction application. So, at the moment I'm logged in to an administrative view and what you can see in front of you is, is also available for each of the agent views. Um, we have a summary of all of the data shown uh, in the screen below here, uh, in this section at the top of the screen here. Uh, over here we have the total number of surveys, um, or rather calls that have been passed the survey so far, uh, the total number of calls that have received a score from uh, a customer, and the total number of calls that have been abandoned at some point during the survey. Over here we have the average uh, score for the entire survey, and over here we have the average score for each question. And over here, NPS stands for Net Promoter Score, which is a measure used worldwide to determine um, the level of customer satisfaction uh, that uh, a customer has awarded uh, which magazine. So to break down this data, um, you can see that in the fields below, we have a time and date stamp for each survey record. The caller's phone number shows here. Uh, this is the survey that's in use, the name of the survey that's in use. The PIN number that um, is used to identify each member of staff that passes a caller into the survey system. The uh, answers given by the customer to each of the questions. So I'll explain what they are. Question 1 is first call resolution and that's marked as either 1, 2 or 3. Uh, the customer entering 1 uh, will be saying that they have had their call resolved, their query uh, resolved in that call um, and if they enter 2 then they haven't had their query resolved and if they enter 3 then they feel that their query has only been partly resolved. Question 2 is a customer effort score uh, and that means um, essentially them giving a score to the question how easy did we make it for you to do business with us or get your issue resolved uh, and they're scoring from 0 to 10. Uh, question 3 is agent performance score again that scored from 0 to 10 and the question asked is um, please rate the agent's performance uh, on this call and finally question 4 is the net promoter score uh, which feeds up to this summary up here and that again is measured 0 to 10 um, net promoter score is calculated where um, a caller that enters in between 0 and 6 um, will be what's considered to be a detractor um, and that's someone that's unlikely to uh, buy from you again um, and would, would um, prefer to buy the services elsewhere if they were available. Um, if they score between 7 and 8 they're considered to be a passive um, they're somebody that may buy from you again um, but um, they would be easily swayed if uh, a competitor was offering a better deal and then those um, that score between 9 and 10 they're called they're considered promoters and they're people that are very loyal to the brand um, are delighted with the service that you're providing and are likely to recommend you when we calculate the net promoter score what we do is we take the total percentage of detractors um, and the total percentage of promoters and we take away the detractors from the promoters to determine your net promoter score um, and 39.4 is fairly respectable um, the likes of Apple and Amazon are scoring high 60s and early 70s um, so um, there, there's still some work to be done to reach their levels but this is a fairly respectable score the total score of all of the questions, but we discount question one because it's not relevant, it's only to determine whether or not the customer is getting their call resolved in one call or if it's requiring lots of calls uh, and that's just really a management tool. Um, the average score for each question is shown there. Uh, in your own private login, you uh, have the ability to enter a note in here to give comments once you listen to feedback. Uh, the team that you belong to is shown here, uh, your agent ID is shown here, and uh, the status of the survey is shown.
shown as a traffic light, red or green, so green indicates that it's been completed and red indicates clearly here that it's been abandoned at some stage during the, during the survey. Any surveys that are abandoned part way don't show in the aggregate scores. Um, we, we leave those um, out of the aggregate scores because they skew the net promoter score. Um, now you're able to listen to the feedback that a customer may give at the end of a call. Uh, we invite them to leave verbal feedback. If the uh, score they give is particularly high, we thank them for their positive feedback and we invite them to leave uh, any comments which uh, we obviously here share with you for the purposes of you know uh, acknowledging that you've done a great job um, and you know uh, we believe that helps with motivation uh, and recognition uh, but conversely if the customer gives a negative score then we'll play a different message uh, which will effectively be apologizing that they've not had the experience that we would like them to have and if they could leave us some feedback about what they feel went wrong so that we can review it and use that information to help improve our service. Uh, if you hover over this it will tell you how long that feedback is before you play it uh, and it can be downloaded by clicking that icon and once that's been played uh, if I play it it will then color purple to indicate that I've already listened to it or if a colleague has played that it will be colored pink to indicate that somebody else has listened to that. Um, now coming back to notes um, once you've listened to comments from a customer then this is, is effectively your right of reply so if you feel the customer is being particularly unfair in the comments they, they're saying and not giving a balanced view this is your opportunity to um, add a comment that management would then be able to see uh, and that would help them to determine um, you know whether uh, they need to take further action or you know the customer's just being very grumpy because they got out of the out of bed the wrong side that day. Okay, so uh, you're able to filter the data that's shown here um, very simply uh, as our management. So if you only want to see data from a particular date, you can just click on those uh, on that field. Um, or if a manager is wanting to um, see only data from a particular team, they would click on the team and that will filter out all of the other teams. Uh, this will just pop up in a moment. They want to see feedback only from a particular agent. They can click on that agent name, uh, and then that will only show the, the results from that particular agent. And what you'll notice is that the summary at the top has changed quite dramatically. Um, this particular agent is doing quite well. Her net promoter score is above uh, the average for the entire company, so um, that's a really good thing. They're obviously doing very well. Um, so you can see down here that that's now filtered all of the relevant data that I've searched for. Uh, I can also use the advanced filter to uh, filter on a much narrower search and I can determine um, the, uh, the agent's PIN number or the agent's name that I want to search under. I can filter out uh, to just look at particular questions or complete or incomplete surveys only or I can use the um, scoring range between um, 0 and 10 for example if I only want to look at low scoring uh, sur uh, survey records uh, or I can even filter by the caller's phone number uh, if I know what that is uh, to listen to any results from a particular caller. Uh, likewise I can then ask the system to only show me results that have got some uh, audio recording at the end where the customer has left comments and I can filter the duration of those so if that's really just to filter out uh, either very long or very short uh, uh, customer feedback records. So if I clear that filter to this tab over here. Uh, this is a tool that your supervisors use uh, in order to assess uh, how everybody's performing. So um, if I run this particular report, which I'll come into edit, uh, the 
there's a range of parameters that can be set to compare performance of all of the people in the group um, and they, these can be set as instant reports or scheduled reports which are emailed out to uh, the management team uh, and if we save and run that there's an example of the output that they can see we've got the total number of complete calls in blue uh, the average score maximum scored calls and the net promoter score as a comparison by each of these agent names down below here uh, and we're able to see the actual numbers just by hovering over uh, each of the bars in the chart uh, if I come across to wallboards this is really where management are able to uh, edit um, and display the wallboard that you'll all have seen in uh, your contact center if I click view that will now publish my wallboard I'm sure you're all familiar with that and the data will populate in a moment uh, this must mean you're not, you're not using the, uh, the survey tool today um, normally we would see a league table over here uh, your net promoter score as a company for today so far this month um, because this is only looking at surveys today to publish the leaderboard uh, it's just gone nine so I guess you haven't actually started uh, passing surveys as yet now management are also able to edit this data uh, that's displayed edit the way that that's displayed by coming in here they have control of all of the color schemes uh, and the background and images and also the uh, scores and date ranges that are used to determine where our system will look back at the data that's being captured. Uh, then they also have control of the leaderboard criteria so you'll notice no doubt through the day that we're showing a view that has um, scores um, and it will show for 10 seconds and then the total number of completed surveys and then the, to the, the most maximum scores uh, from an individual and there are various other criteria that can be used uh, quantity of surveys as an example but that's not being used and then these views will rotate um, if the checkbox is selected and here is the um, number of seconds that that particular view will show for the news feed that some of you may have noticed that comes across the bottom can be controlled here so your managers are able to edit this and determine how long that particular news feed will roll across for and likewise if they want to go and grab external information they can do that using this RSS feed here management also able to use alerts um, you can see here that uh, one is set up for uh, complaints and um, essentially if a parameter is breached then um, on the net promoter score then an email will go out to this email address with the details of the the uh, customer survey and a recording of the comments they've left after the survey, uh, and that can be used, you know, e equally for alerting managers if a particularly high-scoring piece of feedback is left, so that they're able to review that and perhaps have a word with uh, the member of staff that that just got some great feedback. Um, that's also true of the wallboard. Many of you hopefully will have noticed that when a customer gives top scoring feedback the entire wallboard is overlaid with a five star screen in your photograph uh, to make sure that everybody's aware that you've just given some great service and the customer's really really happy with uh, your performance and um, the service you've delivered to them on that call uh, so that's uh, really everything um, hopefully that's helped you to understand uh, what's available for you to um, take a look at and uh, review uh, for your own learning and understanding and hopefully you also now understand a little bit more about um, why we're capturing the data we are and what the questions are and uh, what they mean in terms of evaluating the business as a whole and each of you individually. Uh, so I'll sign off here. Thanks very much for listening and all the very best. Many thanks.